Today I will be showing you how to undertake a modal analysis. The aim of this analysis will be to find the actual mode for this fatigue testing specimen. The actual mode is the longitudinal vibration mode and this is the specimen we will be testing. These dimensions fully define the specimen and the material used is structural steel. This is the Young's modulus and density of structural steel. We will perform this modal analysis in ANSYS. First, you need to sketch the specimen above the x-axis like this. The same dimensions as previously shown will be used to make it. And then it's just revolved around the y-axis 360 degrees. Then in ANSYS Mechanical, simply choose structural steel and then apply a mesh. First, hex dominant method on the body, a body sizing of 0 0.01 meters and then a face meshing on the shoulders and the inner portion. For this I chose 10 divisions on the shoulder and 25 in the center piece. Next we'll change max modes to find to 12 as the 12th mode on ANSYS is the actual mode. And then a simple total deformation on the 12th mode and that will show you the frequency that will vibrate at. So this is 17,000. So that's how you find the frequency of your specimen. Next, we can go back into Design Modeler and then edit the shoulder length. This dimension here and this dimension here. I've reduced it from 15 to 9.756 millimeters as this now gives exactly 20,000. So this is how you change the frequency at which it vibrates to give you the frequency that you want or someone's asked for. So when you lower the shoulder length, it increases the frequency. So it's just trial and error until you get the value you want. Now that's at 20,000, as always, we need to verify it. This might be, seem to be difficult to verify, but as always, you're able to find a calculation somewhere. And that these are the sets of calculation used. So for this specimen, there are these dimensions used in the calculations. And these are simple, simply as shown above here. The same ones we used. So to run through the calculations, they simply half these three dimensions and then you work out constants. Young's modulus and density are used, then frequency, and then this length here, and the two radiuses. That works out alpha, and then k is from this constant and this constant, and then b is from the alpha and k constant. And then you simply put them into this quite complicated equation, and this calculates the shoulder length required for the frequency you input here. So for the 20,000, the shoulder length should be 9.43. ANSYS for, says for 20,000, it should be 9.756. And when you put in the shoulder length calculated here through the equations, you get 20,230. Now this would actually be within the tolerance of plus or minus 500 for an ultrasonic fatigue testing machine. So it's not too bad, but is, as shown here, 1% off. So it gives a good, accurate representation. But if you wanted to do it properly, you would use ANSYS as you want to get as close as possible to the resonant frequency you're looking for.
Thank you for watching.